gonna be rainy and terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, come on down to Doug's Happy what Pills. We got you Happy have Pills. We got Happy Pills. We got Happy Pills. We got Happy Pills. We got Happy Pills. Come on down. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say, first of all, happy birthday to one of the most incredible musicians that the world has ever seen, and easily one of the best musicians of our generation. Happy birthday to Mac Miller. It's time for the show. Now, for those that don't know, Doug is I and I is Doug, and we are here with Saturday Morning Cartoons. Next to me is the greatest co-host of all time is Ray McFlurry II. Boy, are we happy to be back. How you doing, my friend? I'm so freaking excited to be here. I have missed you so much. We were snowed in. We couldn't yes, see each other. See. Dude, it felt like SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs. This kitchen's not the same <laughs> without you. Oh, shit. It's just the grill. It's just the greasy spoon without you. Facts. I miss you, man. I miss you, too. We are back with Saturday Morning Cartoons, the greatest podcast you never heard of. We are going over all kinds of crazy news today involving superheroes. And that's mainly it, because you got a lot to get off your chest today, my friend. It's mainly every every episode. episode, James Gunn, let us come to a premiere, please, and James Gunn, we trust. Um, Quickly, before we get into Ray losing his fucking mind over what he recently saw, uh, speaking of James Gunn, Rachel Brosnahan said that that described her character as like like a feisty, like... Mis- like mysterious Fire marvelous crack. yeah a little firecracker yeah. lois lane uh, and yes. i want that's that was part of our topics and that's that was about it that was us, but yeah. so it's just it's perfect to fit in and write and shout out yeah. to rachel brosnahan and james gunn we trust it's like uh, number yeah, s- that's like number six of the season so far yeah yeah so yes. killing, it. killing it so you have recently watched justice league crisis on infinite earth the dc animated movie that was previously released how do you feel about yeah. it because I didn't, I don't trust it until James Gunn makes one. Since I watched it in Justice, and I was very, very frustrated. Yeah, it was, it was very frustrating as a fan because I love DC. I don't like. We've said it for a long time. I mean, I don't like to hate. You know, I know a lot of our recent clips are kind of like hater shit. Like we fucking hate Man of Steel. You hate. Or, you hate one thing I know for sure. Yeah. And it's Ron Chubb. It's what? Rob Chubb, the basketball. Oh, player. Rob Chubb. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. I hate Rob Show. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I f- would fight him if I saw him today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was very frustrating. This movie is it's called, it was Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1, but it is a Flash movie. It's starring Flash. It is starring Flash, and I mean that. The You know how a movie starts and it will show the, like, the main credits? It will be like Matt somebody as yeah. the Flash. It's did the main credits and it only showed Flash. That was the only <laughs> the only character because <coughs> nobody else was even in it long enough to be considered whatever. Right. So that's like there's a lot of pros to the movie. All right. It's in the Tomorrowverse. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yes. There was uh, Beware My Light Green Lantern movie made. There was the World War Two Justice League movie made. Right. There yeah, was yeah, the yeah. Uh, what is it Brainiac Five and and them in the future. I can't remember what their group's called. The Legion of Super Friends or whatever they're. Uh, so there was like a movie made in that. Yeah. In this all, all in this. Is that the style. same style? Oh, same as like the Judas the Judas contract with Teen Titans and the Justice League versus. No, Teen- that's the DCAMU. That ended. Different anime this, style, animation style. Yes, that ended. Okay. That ended on. I'm glad you bring it up. With actually. Apocalypse War, right? With Apocalypse War, Constantine telling Flash to reboot the timeline. Uh huh. Leads directly into the Tomorrowverse. Perfect. Because in this movie, there is a beggar hobo that keeps going around talking about the end of the world and he's cursed to walk the earths that are ending and it's constantine and they have this moment uh flash and constantine do where he said why why do you know this and he said i don't i don't know but i my fate is to walk any earth that is cursed to die or you know he had like some real dramatic speech and he's like but why what did you do and he's like it's been so long i can't remember like so he's just cursed to it's john constantine's like they addressed it at the end of Apocalypse War, like that yeah. would be his fate, and that is his fate. And so he like connected with Flash, and they had this moment because because Flash knew he, there would be like consequences to rebooting the universe, and he's right. already saw a lot of this <coughs> shit. So yeah, they had this moment where it was like directly tied into the okay. DCA music yeah. Okay, so that's nice. I respect that then. Yeah, that was cool to see. I'm respected. I respect that they're like 
their paying homage and making it understandable. Mm-hmm. I liked the Flash too. the The voice of the Flash. Okay. There, there have been so few bad Flash voices. You know, and uh-huh. the, he did a really good job. Oh, thank goodness. You know, that's that's one of the pros is how good Flash was. How was the rest of the voice acting and the the synchronization? A lot of it bad. A lot of okay. it was really bad. Okay. Uh, the biggest actor probably on the cast was Jensen Ackles as Batman. Makes okay. sense. Now, Jensen Ackles as Batman, I will be honest, it pissed me off before I ever watched the movie because I saw a clip on Twitter of, yes. of a scene in the movie. Oh, and it pissed me off how the voice sounded. And I watched the movie, and it just – when I watch – Go ahead. Ta- talk your <laughs> shit. Talk your shit. <laughs> it – it wasn't Batman. It was Jensen, Jensen Ackles doing a Batman voice. Yes. It dude. was if if I said do your Batman voice, you'd probably say I'm Batman. Okay. okay. <laughs> but if I said you're going to audition for the role of Batman, is your voice going to be I'm Batman? Fuck no, it's not. No. But his voice was the whole movie. He was talking in an impression of Batman. I don't know if that makes sense. It does. But it was just so obviously Jensen Ackles just fucking around in a booth. It wasn't good. That was a really bad part of the movie was Jensen Ackles' Batman voice. Like, it actually, so few things in the world pissed me off. I'm so low-key about everything. That's they, true. like, made my face hot. Because I'm like, the hater. God, I'm the fucking... one that's vocal and that's, that's just like, hey, man, guess of what? Too, this yes. fucking sucked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> it was bad. It was real bad. Okay, and then there was another scene with Blue Beetle, with the Ted Cord character. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, God. His voice. So this is like a real sciencey moment. You're gonna be Jensen Ackles, and you're okay. gonna say, you're gonna say something like, "Wait, so if you're saying that, then that means, and then I'm gonna interrupt you, okay? Right? And I'm gonna be the exact timing and volume of Ted Cord." Wait, if that's what I've you're had saying, a eureka moment. Not antimatter waves. The theory is the same. It was like a text to speech. It was like a text-to-speech voice. It was like, it was so apparent that those voice actors were not in the same room working off each other. It was so bad. Every voice but Flash's was really bad. It was really bad. <sighs> Fuck. The worst Jensen Ackles moment, let me tell you about it. Okay. First of all, what, real quick, what are, the, what are the odds of us ever getting a deceased movie? Ooh, probably good. pretty good. Yeah, with James Gunn running it? Uh, yeah, probably a good animated, good chance of an animated yeah. movie. Okay. Anyway, the worst part of Jensen Ackles. Okay, there was a scene. Some context is, uh, this this Earth's Batman, uh, the one with yes. the Flash, and there's like Hal Jordan is there and whatever, like the Tomorrowverse Batman. He does not have a Robin. Okay. Okay. So there was a scene in the movie where uh, uh, Batman like had just kind of fostered Dick Grayson after his parents died. Yes. Right. So he was he came to Flash for help getting him into the Central City foster system and he gave Dick up. So that was the end of that. So they the the movie's like a convoluted kind of a mess at times. It's kind of there's a lot of time skipping and <coughs> Flash is like skipping to different memories and re remembering shit and we're getting the story in pieces that way out of order. So it's kind of a, hard to explain, but at the yes. third act of the movie, a bunch of different <clears throat> Earth versions of characters get together. So there is a there is a Dick Grayson from Earth 2 talking to Earth 1 Batman, right, which is Jensen Ackles. Okay. And he comes up to him and he says, this is the worst scene to me. He says, oh, my gosh, Bruce, it's, you know, it's so good to see you. Our Bruce has been gone a couple years. You know, he was like, and then the guy was like, who are you? And he's like, I'm your sidekick. You know, you were, you took me in when my parents were murdered and trained me to be, you know, and went through the whole scripting and goes, uh, that sounds terribly irresponsible. And that was the end of the interaction with uh, with Dick and Batman for the rest of the movie. Uh, it sounds terribly irresponsible. It was, that was a scene that pissed me off before. And then I watched the full movie and I watched it again. And I was like, God, no. it still was really bad. That genuinely makes me upset. It was a really... I wanted it to be good, because I like Jensen Ackles. Right. But it was a really bad Batman voice. Yeah. Like, it was really bad. Like, maybe we're just spoiled from how good Kevin Conroy was for 20 years, 30 years, but it was a really... Even the Harley Quinn Batman's pretty good. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, like... Excellent. You can't get mad. For that take on Batman, he's excellent. Yeah, of course. Jensen Ackles was doing a Batman impression for the full movie. 
And like, I'll be honest. That shatters my fucking heart. Yep. I won't lie to you. It stinks. And here's, I'll, I'll tell you another part that stinks, we'll, and then we'll get off of this because I've been talking about it way too long. No, you haven't. Do, do you know the uh, the crime syndicate? The, yes. Uh, the Earth 2 Ultraman evil versions, okay. Uh, so they were in this movie. Okay. Uh, in the Tomorrowverse style. So that means any other characters are, that are shown, uh, even if it's like the DCAU, it's going to be in the Tomorrowverse style. It's not going to be the crossover with different animation style. Uh, so that sucked because they showed that uh, in this movie, and it was just worse than... Did you ever watch the Crisis on Two Earths movie? Where they showed that they had to team up yes, or whatever yes. in Batman's It was sack. worse than that. Yeah, that was a really good movie. Right. And this version of them was really bad compared to that one. So it sucked to see, like, worse characterization after we had just gotten, like, a really good version of it. Yeah. And it's just like, we get them again, and it's chittier, you know? That sucked. That wasn't good. That hurts my heart. We can talk about how ridiculous Invincible is being right now. They... The audacity. The mother, these motherfuckers. You motherfucker, you. You pe- Oh, you cowboy boot wearing stinky f- fucking motherfucker, you. You're gonna drop a release date for the release date next week, you motherfucker, you. <laughs> exactly, bro. How fucking dare you? How dare they? You come in here. I love Invincible, man. I own Ryan Otley signed merchandise. I love Invincible more than the average person, at least. Fuck you guys. But what the but, fuck? Bro, first of all, three years for season two. We get here. The animation style is not three years worth of work. The fucking eight season or eight episodes in the season, and you're going to do a mid-season break, and then everybody's begging for it to come back, and then it's... Three weeks of nobody giving a shit. People have fucking moved on. They've moved on with their lives. They fucking forgot yeah. about the rest of season two. Yeah. And then you're going to have the audacity to announce a date for the release of the second half of the season. You're not announcing. You're not. It's not coming back next week. You're announcing when it's coming back next week. You're announcing an announcement. That's ridiculous. You're a you piece shouldn't have split it in the first place. Trash. Yeah, a hundred percent. God. And if you're splitting it up, you better have season three already done. Dude, the thing is, they're like Invincible's a good show and Amazing. it's popular, but they don't have like the viewership the boys have. They can't pull something like this on Prime Video. No. Like this isn't a household name for a show. This is an MCU shit. Yeah. Like it's, it's. A mistake? Is that a mistake to have done this? They should have dropped back to back to back to back. It's crazy that that it's the midseason break made no sense when it happened, and then they're still fucking with us. They're announcing an announcement date on an announcement. The audacity. That's fucking bullshit. I love Invincible. I'm gonna watch every episode the second it drops. But goddamn, I'm Absolutely. gonna complain until then. Yeah, because we, the audacity. Yeah. That's what we did when James Gunn was about to do DC shit, and we were just like, "What the fuck is Black Adam? What is Shazam two? You know, like what all? What is this horse shit?" You know who was there on D list celebrity night? Saturday morning boys, goddamn it! There ain't no. Whatever. You know who? And you know who almost killed us on the way to Shazam two? Well, she's not here right now. Yeah. But yeah. That's but real. That's that, that shit on camera wasn't scary. But in person, oh, dude! In person, my stomach left the a car. A thousand percent. <laughs> um, we're, we'll get into some uh, some topics real quick before we get into the the final real things. They'll be quick and easy. Um, ladies and gentlemen, for those that don't know, season two of The Last of Us is set to start filming very soon, I believe. And guess what, baby? We got new cast auditions. We have Young Mazzino as Jesse. We have Isabella Merced yes, as hot De- girl, right? Yeah, as Hell Dina, yeah. which is awesome. Good for her. She's and we have Caitlin show. Deaver, uh, Dever Deaver, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, as Abby, who is the titular character of the game. Yeah. Uh, and she has played the... <laughs> she is the youngest daughter. She's Eve from Last Man Standing. Oh, wild. Okay. Yeah, dude. I've been waiting to tell you for so oh, long. Oh, last man stand. Oh. No. oh, we've been talking about hate comments. That's some of the most hate comments we've got on YouTube Shorts was when I posted my last man standing take. Yeah. There was some, so you fucking hate them because they love Jesus. Yeah, they love you know, Trump. Like, you, yeah. Oh, I was like, 
Yeah, that's exactly why, you yeah. know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was it. Pretty clear about it. In the clip. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got coming? Bro? Oh, gosh dang it. Yeah, what good. Else we got? Congrats to all of the new cast members on The Last of Us. An incredible show. Um, very, very impressed. Cannot wait to see what uh, is next. So... Dave Filoni lost his mind. They they were just like, hey, take everything you want and make whatever you want. And he said, okay. And Ahsoka did really well to an extent. People were like, oh, what the fuck? And they were like, okay, do what else? And he goes, I'll show you what else. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mandalorian and Grogu are getting their own movie. Yeah, that's going to be sick. And still getting into Mandalorian season four. Yep. That's going to be so fucking cool. (laughs) What? I do think think they need to get Dave Filoni under control, though. Because the fact that they let that man wear a tuxedo and a baseball cap to the Golden Globes and walk around like that. You mean like Kevin Feige did? Who am I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking of Kevin Feige. You're talking about Filoni. I don't know Dave Filoni. Like, that's the creator. That's Damn, the, I was taking a shot yeah, at no, Kevin first, Feige. No, first, that's Damn. fine. No, here's the thing. Damn. Kevin Feige can always wear his Who ball cap. Who is Dave Filoni? Dave Where did Filoni's, he come from? Uh, I don't remember. He's always been there. He's Has been he there always for a, been the Star Wars guy? He's, been, he's always been a Star Wars fan from like... Uh, Doing the the animated series like Clone Wars and stuff like that, like he was like oh, that's been, the, okay. yeah, 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 probably like that Damn. long give or take. And I he, just realized I, when I think of those two, I think of them as one person. Yeah, he's Kevin the Feige. he's the Star Wars version of Kevin Feige. Okay, where yeah, that just, makes like sense. they just that made him sense. creator or whatever the fuck to do yeah, whatever storylines. Yeah. Same thing with Kevin Feige, and he's like, oh, you want to see some shit? Oh, okay, this is my this is mm-hmm. come here, come here, Damn. come here, come here. Guess what? Ahsoka season two. He said, we might even do Kenobi season two just because. Why? Who knows? They, Hayden Christensen said he wants to come back. We might do fucking, we might do random uh, cl- live action Clone Wars season just just, Dude, just be because. be fucking crazy. I'm sorry, what? What'd you say? That's an actual interview. Mm-hmm. It's been like, we're, we're thinking of a lot of things. And we're Damn. just like, oh. That's insane. That's insane. I'm hard. I'm hard right now. Speaking of Boston accents, the season of Ted was released and the first episode That's, dropped yep and then you have to have premium to watch it and that pissed me off extremely so i thought it was fucked up i watched it yet? i watched the first episode oh, okay, okay it was so fucking good dude i laughed so hard genuinely impressed seth mcfarlane killed it he did it again god damn it this is a topic i forgot to bring up but this is yes. one that i meant to it's not even on because, the board dude this is a top this the ted tv show i have not seen Fucking boots on the ground promotion. Fucking like word on the street promotion like this since since Puss in Boots. Since Puss in Boots. Yeah, dude. That movie. Since that movie, I have not seen this many people going, holy shit, that dead show is fucking good. Holy shit, that Puss in Boots movie? Like, Did you watch number was, three? That, that animation great. style was incredible. Yes. It, went, it wins awards this and Ted shit. show. Dude, the, boot, the grassroots movement. For this Ted show has been insane. Yes, dude. It's because it's, it's from all the fans from the Orville. It's... Dude, I've loved all the Orville cast being in the show. Dude, so the principal cool. is yes. Dude. <gasps> There's yes. it makes me so fucking happy, dude. Yes, dude. He's like, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite fucking jokes that he was like talking about bringing weed in the house. He's like, no, don't, dude. My dad cried when the chopper came back to get him from Nam, <laughs> and he was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just fucking it's the, the redhead dude from the Orville yeah, I'm just yeah, like the, the pilot, they get high as shit and they eat dinner he goes is there a fucking gas leak like it's just... <laughs> the Ted TV show is fucking incredible dude it's it's, it's it's honestly amazing the first episode is so fucking good um yeah there, what the fuck oh yeah there's an episode where essentially something happens where Ted and John have to think of something to convince their dad to, to let something happen and he's like I, Ted used to be a TV star, right? Mm-hmm. So he was like, the the, the studio was going to give us money to do a buddy cop movie in space. And it was me and Sylvester Stallone. And he goes, shut up! And they're going back and forth. And he's like, I will give this to you. And he shows him. And he opens He's like, what the fuck is this? And he goes, that is Rocky's mouth god. And he goes, shut the fuck up. He's like, are you telling me? He's like, yep, the one in the museum is fake. And he goes, holy oh, fucking shit. shit. Holy shit. And he goes, put it on. Put it on. He goes, what? No, I couldn't. He goes, I think he would want, he would want to be in your mouth. And he puts it on. He goes, I can feel him. I can, I can feel, I can feel Rocky. Oh, and so yeah, uh, just God damn it. the cuts, the 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 comedy alone is so good that they're able mm-hmm. to make a Family Guy 
slap sh- like slapstick comedy in live action is still so fucking impressive to me yes. at, at all times, and it's still the funny. CGI was literally groundbreaking. Oh yeah, and dude, Ted so was good. perfect. It's so good. It was, dude. The love I feel for Seth MacFarlane, I I Family Guy gets shit on. Deservedly, whatever. Yeah. But Seth MacFarlane's role in Family Guy, American Dad, The Orville, The Cleveland the Ted Show, movies, The Cleveland, like it's, he's just a fucking genius. Comedically, yeah. he has the voice of an angel. God damn it! First of all, he's got the voice that of an me- angel. That meme gets me every time. Where it's like, uh, born, born to replace Sinatra, forced yeah. to, to <laughs> Lois. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Look, didn't, he did a song with Logic, right? Yeah, I remember he did a song he with has Logic, and three people were different like, "Christmas albums." Really, that's yeah. not surprising. And not the surprising. the uh, there's a woman on there. I want to say her name is Liz Giles, and okay. I apologize if that's not. I know it's Liz something. Um, it's the emo girl from Victorious. Oh, uh, I never, I never watched. Yeah, her Victorious. name was Jade on Victorious, and so she, yeah, and so yeah. That's cool. Did you watch Dynasty? It was on CW when we were in high school. I don't think so. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I must have missed that one. Yeah, uh, no, so. but yeah, so it's just like Seth MacFarlane could do no wrong. No, it's he's on like this isn't gonna make sense. Okay, I think he's had a similar arc recently that uh, Seth Rogen has had, where it used to be they he did they did really creative shit that was really funny and really good for a certain demographic of people. They got shit on. By a demographic of people that misunderstood it. Facts. And then they have moved on to other shit and been more creative with other avenues, like the Oroville, like the Ted movies. like, yes. And then with Seth Rogen, he's gone from, like, the stoner movies to Ninja Turtles, Invincible, like, producing yeah. that shit. Yes. The boys, like, he's they're in this, like, second phase of their career where they've always been this incredible creative genius. But now they're finally getting the recognition because they're making their Star Trek show or they're making, you know. They're in their Adam Sandler phase. Yeah. They're, it's like same Adam Sandler's in yeah. the same role where now he did Uncut Gems and the Hustle movie and everyone's yeah. like. Holy fuck, Adam right. Sandler can not only make you laugh but cry and genuinely feel like mm-hmm. he can make you feel things not just in a comedy movie. What in the world? Um like it, it's very exciting to see. Yeah. Ab- absolutely. Yeah. I yeah, I I always I hated the the hate on Seth MacFarlane because he was always such a fucking brilliant comedian and writer and actor and voice actor and god, always. Yeah. He's he never gets the recognition he deserves. And with this Ted show, I think it just immortalizes that series more. Mm-hmm. And him in in Hollywood, essentially, and just in, in the industry alone, just like, this guy doesn't fuck around. He knows what he yeah. wants, and he's doing incredible things the, yeah. way, he, he, the way he wants to. He doesn't care. Yeah. Uh, so and shout he, out to yeah. Seth MacFarlane. And when he makes serious shit, it's still funny as hell. Like, the Orville is a comedy, but it's really just a Star- space. Yeah. Star, it's, it's Star it's, Trek. It's his Star Trek. Yeah, but it's so goddamn funny. It's like Zack Snyder made Rebel Moon. That yeah. that sucked. Yeah. And then he said, the Orville? Okay, three seasons. Yep. Two so seasons, good, and the fans want it so bad, Hulu picks it up and gives it another season. Yeah, man. So now we are going back into the rest of our topics. Today they have announced that they are doing screen tests for actresses for, to play Supergirl, such as Millie Alcock, Amelia Jones, and Meg Donnelly as Supergirl. Um, they could be okay. We'll see. I don't know. I kind of like uh, Sasha still. You know? Yeah. Sasha did a pretty good job. Yeah. I think she looked good in the role. It's yeah. no surprise they... She didn't get retained or whatever in yeah. the universe, but uh, she never had a real shot at it, I don't believe. No, not in the slightest. Yeah. Doomed to fail immediately. Same with Black Adam. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks we don't get more Hawkman. Uh, we don't get Adam Smasher. Dr. Fate. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sucks. It's a it's a huge, huge bummer. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so, speaking of castings and this and that other, we have a new casting report, essentially, that they are going to – Release the uh, <clears throat> the Fantastic Four casting very soon um, because Pedro Pascal had to cut out of leave a movie because he promised Marvel and that was the reason. And so people are like, "Oh fuck, he's gonna be he actually is gonna be Mister Fantastic." Um, so oh, what? That that wasn't official already. I guess not. Oh wow. So I was just assumed it was. I did too. So we'll see how the fuck that goes. Uh, Josh Hutchinson announced that they are officially working on. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Deserved. Yeah, 100%. That movie killed it in the box office, and it dropped same day on streaming. That's Dude, incredible. unheard of. Like, Batman level. Yeah. Like, incredible. Fucking incredible. Movie was pretty good. Yeah. You know? Uh, 
Oh, dude, it was so good. Yeah. I was really surprised. I mean, I, Matthew Lillard, you know, he did it right. I was surprised how good it was. Yeah. 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 I, I knew good. I knew the, the fandom would go see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was good, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a slut for Matt. Matthew Lillard in anything, you know. Oh, Josh Hutchinson, anything. Dude, a hundred percent. Did I'm you down. know that he originally had screen tests and did a lot of stunt work and had the role of the Amazing Spider Man before Andrew Garfield had it? Who? Was? Josh Hutchinson. Bullshit. I swear That's on. Awesome. I swear on everything. I'm gonna. I'm gonna what find happened? the footage. I don't know, but there's like actual footage of him. Like doing stuff as Spider Man, like with the harness, him doing like really? the, the that, fight. That's right off his Hunger Games fame. I right? want to say that it is. It's like Hunger Games and Journey, Journey Two. Yeah, yeah. Like that little spiel. Like that's when mm-hmm. it started, which is just. Imagine That'd have been sick. Imagine the Sony verse. That imagine the, like the Spider Gen movie we might get. Imagine if they're that cool. You know, they're just like bring Hutchinson in. Fuck it. Fuck. Him be a Spider Man. You know, who cares, dude. Bro, speaking of the Sony verse, yes, talk, let's talk about Madam Web for a second. Yes, please. Did, so, did you watch first before we get into this field? Did you watch the Twitter video of Dakota Johnson, uh, just doing a selfie video saying to come see the movie, and it was really sensual, and there was like, I think she wants me to masturbate after the movie. Or <laughs> yeah, like, like, I think she's trying to hook up. Yeah, um, she was real like, s- yeah. sensual and sultry. Or yeah, whatever. you mean the per- like a- you mean the girl that did three Fifty Shades of Grey movies? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but <laughs> yeah. it was like a real weird like a Twitter ad that I saw. It was like I thought it was fake or Sex something sales, or like baby. AI generated. Sex or sales, something. baby, especially in the nineties. Hell, I mean, I it could be a '90s style stuff. campaign. That'd be wild. I was already going. But. Yeah, we already planned it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first yes. uh, movie of the year for Saturday morning cartoons will. B, Madam the Web. The Beekeeper. Oh, I mean, Madam Web. Yeah. The be- <laughs> when does that come out? Madam Web? No, The Beekeeper. It's already out. Is it? Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, I think it's already yeah. been out for a week or so. Okay. You had asked me about that, and I was like, probably because you didn't see like 80% of the movies I wanted to take you to. And well, like, I no. just figured that would have been one you bugged me about. That would have been one you said no to. You, just want, you want to be asked. You didn't, I like to be asked. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I didn't even think about it because it didn't look good to me. Like, Yeah, I saw a meme about it. It was like Act 1. Uh, helping somebody find their lost car. Act three, I have to break into the White House. And apparently it's not an exaggeration. And so I was like, damn, why didn't Doug bug me to see that <laughs> shit? That's right up we went, we went and saw fucking Indiana Jones. <laughs> Did you see the new game? Bro, it looks so good. It looks fucking it looks spectacular. Really good. It's, I'm down. It's supposed to be mostly first person. I'm Whipping down, Whipping some Nazis? God damn, I'll, that looks good. I'll whip some Nazis, dude. bro. If there's one thing I love, it's Indiana Jones, yep. second thing, whipping Nazis. Dude. <sighs> we said it about Spider-Man 2, but this drops on PC, I'm pretty sure, so God damn it, we're going to do that couch playthrough. Oh, couch yeah, yeah, yeah. It's single player, <clears throat> but we're going to sit here and pass the controller. Uh, I, <laughs> God, dude, that trailer looked really good. I was impressed. I didn't have high hopes for an Indiana Jones game. But they took it a really unique, interesting direction. Because forcing you to play first person most of the game is like... A lot of games don't lock you in like that anymore. They give you so many settings to, you know, change and look. Like, play a game however you want. Yes, yes. It it could be a lot of the same motions as, like, Arkham Knight or something, where it's just very repetitive and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, it will be, but it'll be a whole different viewpoint i guess like they never gave that opportunity for batman for arkham knight yeah. or for gotham yeah. or for really any of the games like prince of persia back then would have been sick as fuck first person and stuff like that yeah you're seeing glorious bastards i have not it's about i mean you know what it is what it's about it's it's a true story about a bunch of soldiers going behind enemy lines to are you ready for a recap no oh you're not okay. no okay. I'm sorry. not this time but we were talking about nazis uh but we're talking about killing Nazis, and that's 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 my so Brad, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's character. Yeah, yes. I've seen. I haven't watched the full movie. Okay, but so that's, that shit I've watched clips. There's of, a yeah. scene where he's like talking about the bear Jew who comes out and he kill. He brings has a baseball bat and he kills Nazis with like a like he after they capture him they're like, he's like a dude in the background. He orig- it's by it's Eli Roth who's a director now who's done incredible things. But the bear Jew who Eli is fucking huge. They're all he's like from Brooklyn or some shit like that. Oh so he talks God. with that accent. He, he was originally supposed to be played by Adam Sandler and he couldn't do it due to scheduling conflicts oh and that was supposed to be one of his first like big serious movies he was like Adam Sandler was like 
oh yeah, I got like I was like 220 pounds and I was like I was I was big as shit. Yeah, because it was with like the interview with Brad Pitt they did for like Actors on Actors and it was just like yeah, him sitting yeah. down. And they were talking about almost doing Inglorious Bastards and he was like, oh, he goes, man, Eli did. Damn. He said Eli did such a good job though. He goes, oh no, Eli did great. And he's like, but man, to see you when I saw when I first saw you out of the gym, I said, wow. Sandler's gonna Sandler's gonna do it. Oh my god! Uh, and it was just that was Brad Pitt saying that shit. So we're just like, holy fuck! Uh, That's incredible, dude. Okay, I never knew that. His name was Lieutenant Aldo Rain. Okay. Okay. I'm down. I'm putting together a special team. I need me eight soldiers, eight Jewish American soldiers. Now y'all might have heard rumors about the Armada happening soon. Well, we've been leaving a little earlier than that. We're going to be dropped into France, dressed as civilians, and once we're in enemy territory as a bushwhacking guerrilla army, we're going to do one thing and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I sure as hell didn't come down from the smoky goddamn mountains, cry f- cross 5,000 miles of water, find my, way half, find my way half through a Sicily, jump out of a fucking aeroplane, to teach the Nazis lessons in humanity. Nazis ain't got no humanity. They're the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering maniac, and they need to be destroyed. Literally it said D-E-E, destroyed. Because that's his accent. Destroyed. Now, I'm a direct descendant of the mountain man Jim Bridger. And that means I got a little engine in me. And our battle plan will be that of the Apache Resistance. We will be cruel to the Germans. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. <laughs> and they will find evidence of our cruelty in the disemboweled, dismembered, and disfigured bodies of their brothers we leave behind us. Uh, and the Germans will be sickened by us. The Germans will talk about us. And the Germans will fear us. And when the Germans close their eyes every damn night, they're tortured by the subconscious for the evil that they have done. And it will be the thoughts of us they are tortured with. Sound good? So fucking good. Everyone's like, "Yes, sir." Oh, and it has, shit, what a speech. dude. It's so fucking. It has. Uh, you watch The Office, of course. It has uh, Br- uh, Ryan. Ryan's in it. Really? He's he's one of the he's one of the main dudes. That's fucking like. Sick. How about you? You take that deal. He's like, I take that deal. Damn good deal. I would take it too. It's like that's a meme that made, like Brad Pitt and it's him in the background. Like, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Like, be uh, DJ be Novak. Novak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, just I have to do that every That's time. Sick. Makes me that so was, happy. That was a rousing monologue, man. I was ready to run through the wall. I'll tell you what, I'll kill some Nazis because they took away my fruit stripe gum. They have officially discontinued no. fruit stripe, the gum. Son of a bitch. Yeah, bro. How devastating is that? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm at least kind of sad for a minute here. Yeah. Like, my yeah. child well, was like, oh. <laughs> End of an era. Truly. Absolutely. Haven't ate it in 10 years. No. In a decade, but. No, a long time. Long time. <laughs> Whatever, bro. They'll bring it back after they found after they f- f- like really find out. Like when they were like, mm-hmm. we're gonna get rid of Twinkies, and the world was like, I'm sorry, what? And then they were like, well, we'll get rid of Toys R Us. And we're like, bring it back. We're sad. No, not the fucking giraffe with the not the giraffe. Cars. Yeah, like no, not his little rolling suitcase. He's like, getting on a plane. Hey, and if Inside Out never happened, I don't think that movie or Toys R Us would have came back. Cause they start the the big like viral ones where it was like Toys R Us like the giraffe and it's like Bing Bong. Oh, that yeah, no, that's a good point. Damn. Yeah, dude, and everyone was like, "Oh, why'd you oh. do it?" To-? Yeah, and then everyone was, and then people were commenting in all caps like the mascot was a giraffe, and it was like the younger generation. And then people had to show old videos, and everyone's like, yeah. "Bring this back!" What oh the f-? My yeah, God, bro. Um, it's like the good reason of bringing stuff back, yeah. unlike Morbius. So, they have announced that Top Gun 3 is officially in the works. Miles Teller, Glenn Powell, and Tom Cruise are all set to return, and I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't care either. What I do care about, let me tell you. Okay. They did the deal with Tom Cruise, and I heard that they did it hoping that he would do, oh, what's it called? Not uh, Live, Die, Repeat, but what's the real name of the movie? Oh, Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. They want him to do Edge of Tomorrow 2. Thank God. That's awesome. That Finally. Was, that was a fucking sick movie. That was a great that movie. Emily Blunt unexpectedly... wants to redo that movie. Yeah. Like she wants to like the sequel. She's like, I'm yeah. yeah, Top Gun 3, sick. But Edge of Tomorrow 2, that's even sicker that that's even something they want. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Um, Hold on. Another thing about Tom Cruise. Yes. 
Was that that's who we were just talking yes. about? Right? I didn't make that up. No. Okay. His in Mission Impossible movie. Did you say they renamed it? it? Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. It's not Part One anymore. They dropped Part One. It's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Did you hear about that? No, I did not. They officially renamed it. What does that mean? That means it's not the new. It'll be a different name for the the sequel. Is that that's what they're just yeah. not doing a sequel? For? Yeah. No, they're gonna do a sequel. It'll be a. It'll just be a different name. Okay, so they yeah. can, oh, they do that so they can name the second movie differently. Yeah, it won't because it won't be like it was Fast X, right? So it'll right. still be Fast Eleven, mm-hmm. but it ended on a cliffhanger. Right. That. Okay. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. It's been long enough that they can do that. They can attempt yeah. to do that because Tom Cruise is fucking crazy. That makes sense. Ugh. Okay. Um. Uh, let me see. Oh, Tatiana Maslany has officially came out and said that we will never realistically get a She-Hulk season two because, like, we went over budget and Disney was like, no way, and Marvel was like, no way. And also the fans were like, no, no, that's – you stopped that. Yeah. You silly goose. <laughs> no. 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 No, no, no. No. Um, Yeah, that's it. But you know what we will get? A Wizards of Waverly Place sequel, not a reboot, yeah. a se- continuation sequel with Selena Gomez and David Henry. That's really cool. That's awesome. That's fucking cool. All about re- all about sequels, all about certain reboots. iCarly was re- really good. I'm very impressed. Uh, this will be so much better. Dude, it's exciting. Yeah, because this, this I loved this way more than I loved iCarly. Mm-hmm. I'm so pumped, dude. I'm so fucking pumped. Here's something. I was talking to Tay about this the other day. Yes. See? We were... We were huh? I said, see? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Um, we were talking about Dave Filoni, Kevin Feige, same person in my head? Yes. Okay. Wizards of Waverly Place? Yes. Phil of the Future, same show in my head. Oh, I, I respect that. I, I don't, I can't place well, they, Wizards, Wizards of Waverly Place. I three can't. kids work in a subway deli with their parents, but also are wizards, but not the mom. JT Seems Austin. familiar. Yeah. Red-headed girl used to be the best friend. He used to wear like a marker. He used to wear be like the kooky weird girl. Back nowadays, she'd be a horse girl. But back na- back then, she was like, I wore a strawberry here, and I made, I found oh, okay. plastic strawberry magnets, and I glued them to a sweat or like a sweater, and that's what I'm wearing, you know, and a skirt, you know, I'm like what are you wearing, Harper? And she's just like, I made it at home. And it's like a marker skirt, like legit, like this style marker just on a skirt. Oh every color like a rainbow and oh, then like that real specific and then, type of and just yeah 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 exactly back yeah, yeah. back then it was, she was just the weird friend creative as fuck back yeah. but nowadays she's got the tism yeah 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 wallace wake up with she she's got the tism uh yeah these days they give her meds to get rid of those yeah like the creativity they say what are you doing smiling so much there's yeah. like fucking you're too fucking happy <laughs> there's a cat williams joke um, and we talked about Cat Williams in the last podcast. Um, but there was a Cat Williams joke that makes me laugh every single time. They were talking about giving his son uh, uh, Ritalin. Because his son, he's like, my son just like to run. He's real. The second his feet touch the ground, he's boom, he's gone. He said, uh, he said you need to give him Ritalin. He said, but you understand, he happy. And they're like, well, he's, he, he runs, so he took it. Uh, and he was like, my son, a smart ass. I came in there one day because I didn't hear nothing. I came in there while he was doing He was sitting down. And I was like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm being good, daddy. Touche, <laughs> touche, the motherfucker, touche. Oh, uh, uh, God damn. <sighs> anyway, love it. Love Cowboys. Dude, Cowboys is a fucking so goat. Fucking fun. um, they, Vincent D'Onofrio, Echo has officially ended. All five episodes came out. So fucking good, dude. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. The ending was a little odd, but now that I've now that I've read more reports, the interviews have been out, it makes a lot more sense and I'm fine with it. Um, but mm-hmm. Echo was really good. Charlie Cox's Daredevil was really great. They made canon all of the Netflix series. I saw that. Yes. Every single one is all officially canon now. It's like 53 episodes or something, isn't it? It's like a fuck ton of yeah, Daredevil in the canon now. Nine day, eight days uh, of content really of all the episodes i think it's like 48 ep- 43 episodes i think oh really because it's like 13 seasons damn. across like six shows damn five or six shows. it's iron fist luke cage punisher daredevil jessica jones the defenders yeah okay. so six Thanks. um they still haven't said shit about agents of shield or the inhumans yet yeah pew, 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 pew. but if they did add that agents of shield had seven seasons so 
And they were like, they were like 18 episodes, so mm-hmm. touche. Um, Kingpin, essentially, is the street level Thanos um, for Marvel now. And he said yeah. that in an interview. Which has so many fucking implications. Because, like, does this yeah. mean we're going to get Elektra now with Daredevil? At the, now that this is canon, are we going to get the spine, the the cyborg spine in Bullseye? And we're actually going to get Bullseye with the costume? That's going to be great. I wish we can get back Colin Farrell. Uh, are, what's what's going to happen with everything? Is John Bernthal finally coming back? Are we going to see other glimpses of shit? Let me know! Uh, but with that, it means the Fantastic Four have run-ins. Um, the Punish Spider-Man has run-ins. Luke Cage can come back. Iron Fist can come back. Moon Knight can come into this. Yep. There's so many implications that it's just purely endless. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking nice. Miss yep. Marvel has run-ins. So it's just yep. like, oh, what? Oh, goodness. So, uh, yeah, there's so many implications with, like, Tom Holland and meeting Vincent D'Onofrio. How's that going to go? Can we see, like, yep. certain cutscenes and uh cam not cameos but like homage to the spider-man games are we gonna see certain shit like that are we gonna speaking of spider-man spider-man 4 yes they said something they're saying that we're gonna see a villain that we have never seen before in live action oh we forgot to talk about it we did yeah that's really exciting yeah yeah they said the script should have a villain that's never been adapted live action before yeah 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 what that's fucking exciting what does that mean that could be who mr negative Uh uh-huh or silver sable yeah Tombstone. Uh, black cat yeah black cat tombstone chameleon yeah chameleon it could be we never we saw the the face but we never saw the suit of the scorpion right yeah it could be the scorpion I, 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 dude. I, yeah, dude, because it's, it's, they could pull somebody crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh no, damn it. We already got the vulture. I was ready for a bet. Oh, I'm ready yeah. for a good one. Uh, and we're already getting Craven, which is a fucking huge bummer. I mean, it's yeah. great, but like, we're not getting it right here in this. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we'll, we won't get a Sandman in this one because we already saw him in the third one. You know what I mean? We won't, yeah, get, yeah. we won't get John Cena Sandman. Okay. So Whatever, dude. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that Spider-Man movie will be absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. It's going to be fucking great. Yeah. Um, the last thing on this list, I just want to, uh, say something very quick. I would have not became a musician if it wasn't for this person. Uh, the, just the, the hope to be the kid that kids would come to skip school to see it was always just something fascinating to me. Like kids would come, they skip school to go see this kid and perform it. His music touched everyone in some genre, in some album, in some single that he dropped. Everyone was like, Oh yeah, I fucks with this song. Like this, yeah. this is my favorite. This is my favorite song of his. Mm-hmm. Um, today right now is January 19th and it is Malcolm McCormick, AKA Mac Miller's birthday. And I just want to say happy birthday, my friend. Um, you would have been 32 today. And my heart goes out to your family. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't at least play one of your songs and think about you, buddy. Um, truly, I hope you have a great birthday, man. Um, been absolutely shit since you've been gone. Very. Um, with every song you make and every album, it's been more and more incredible, more generational, and more iconic. Thank you so much for being in everyone's homes. Thank you so much for touching the entire world with your music, um, showing us some of the best memes, showing us what true love can be at some point, um, and just saying, fuck it, why not try to achieve my dreams and be myself? So, shout out to you, Mac Miller. Um, happy birthday, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Dougie McDoubles, and this has been Ray McFlurry the Second. We are Saturday Morning Cartoons, the greatest podcast of all time. And if you don't know, now you know. Madam Webb, I really hope you're good, because James Gunn's not dropping anything for quite a while, so you better you better pick it up. Please pick it up. Yep. Fuck. Bye, Patrick. Bye, Patrick. Hey, what happened? Why are those squiggles on the screen? Those are called end credits, Patrick. End credits? But I don't want it to end!